like all of us human beings. Look at us, we look different, but ultimately we're all human. So we're pretty much the same thing. Nadezhda Savova is an anthropologist who is currently working on her PhD at Princeton University. Today, she is hosting a bread making and music class at the Princeton YMCA. Nadezhda is the founder and president of the Bread Houses Network, a community building program centered around people making simple breads together. So inspired by the fact that bread making is common across different cultures, even though it's made of different elements, the whole network started um, with my vision that we could connect the world and we could connect communities that are mixed of different people through bread making. Just pretty much get anyone on board from different age groups and different ethnic backgrounds. And it was the same thing that happened tonight as what happens in many other communities. I've done it. Uh, families came from so many different countries, speaking different languages, everybody with their own interesting names. And the magic still happened. Bread making broke all the barriers. People laughed and talked and danced. Nadezhda has promoted community bread making around the world spreading her message of cooperation across genders, age, ethnic, and religious backgrounds. I'm originally from Bulgaria, but I started traveling a lot as an anthropologist. So uh, the network and the method of this community bread making events evolved in 12 countries right now. Um, Italy, Peru, Brazil, uh, South Africa, Egypt, Israel and Palestine, Russia, um, Korea. Uh, Spain, uh, it's evolving now in Morocco, in Turkey and in Lebanon as well, there's organizations who want to develop the method. Um, and it's pretty much been a very organic way. I've been to these countries and I've done workshops and trainings for people and with people and organizations and they took up the method and developed it further as a community building events and programs. So, it was a very simple way that I did it, and at the same time now it's being coordinated and connected by our organization. With just flour, water, and yeast, Nadezhda teaches each family how to mix and knead their own bread. The loaves are decorated and baked before being shared and eaten by the group. The very simple act of bread making actually teaches children a lot as well as adults, because it makes people question where does our food come from and understanding the whole complicated process of how much labor went into the flour that we eat from the simple grain through the working of the fields uh, and to baking it, that once we understand the complicatedness of this process, we are also much more willing to understand that different age groups can live and work together. So I always emphasize that these events have to be multi-generational. It's not only children or only youth. But I always out, do outreach for different um, groups and also um, people with various disabilities could be integrated. Because um, it's not really disabilities, it's special abilities. We all have our own special talents or special uh, interesting backgrounds. And we only have to understand how beautiful diversity is. And this is what exactly uh, children understand when they look around and they see everybody making the same thing, bread. Uh, and at the same time, wow, we're so many different colors, different ages, different um, countries that we come from, different accents that we speak in. So it really is beautiful to teach them how simple things can really unite us. The class ends with everyone singing and dancing together, using their cooking utensils as instruments. Nadezhda hopes that the Bread House Network will continue to grow and bring the entire world closer together. I think, in a gist, uh, the vision is that we could and we should start thinking in simple terms. We make our lives too complicated and the ultimate truth is really that we need very little to be happy as long as we have friendships and love in our lives. So this is what we should focus our energy on, the people around us, not always striving for more and more material things or more complicated foods. So bread and water and love is kind of the, and the home. Bread, water, home and love, the basic things we need in life. Thank you. Thank you.